Welcome, you awesome squatchers, to the another blistering episode of the Bigfoot Book Club. I'll say it like Walter Cronkite, Bigfoot Book Club. The consonants. I've got consonants with Bigfoot Book Club. The Bs, that's consonants, right? Okay, today, a new book. Yes. Brought to you by In Backwards Vision, IBV. In Backwards, IBV, yeah. The Clan of the K-Bears. I keep not wanting to say the. I want to say Clan of the K-Bears, but that was a conscious decision by the author to say the Clan of the K-Bears. Pretty bold in the title there by Jean-Claude M. Aoul, Aoul Van Damme. Jean, a woman, Jean, Jean, it's actually Jean. A novel. This is a 1980. Huge hit for Jean. First book. First in the Earth's children's series don't be confused it's not a children's book there's some there's some pretty violent stuff going on in here the kids should not be reading this the kids now this is a there's three books in this series the mammoth hunters you know first was this one and then the mammoth hunters and oh what's the other one i forgot so i found this in a rotating at the back of the grocery store the rotating book thing and uh i'm like ooh, i'll read that i've never read it clan the clan of the cave a huge hit this is like the 1980, and then there's a ton of printings. They made a movie. Yes, they made a movie. I never saw it, but I knew... I watched recently after reading here. Daryl Hannah was the star. The girl, Ayla, is the main character. She's you and me and Billie Jean King in a group of Neanderthals. She gets... There's an earthquake. The exciting... Uh, sorry, the inciting incident, yes, is where there's an earthquake. Daryl Hannah's character, who's five years old, by the way. Daryl Hannah's six foot, 30 years old. In between takes, she's hitting the Marlboro Reds, you know. The casting there, I don't know. Um, so she's a five-year-old at first, and she only goes to about 12 years old by the end of it. Maybe 14, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, she gets displaced by a big earthquake. Her people get separated. She's separated from her homo sapien people. Then she, the Neanderthals pick her up and let her go into the clan of the cave bears. That's what's the fish out of the water. It's a classic fish out of the water scenario. Thank you, Jean Van Claude Dam. What I, I'm not a, it's a big, it's 500 pages of thick stuff here going on. I wish they would have edited it down to 250 pages. Because the story is not very strong in the Clan of the Cave Bears. I really can't tell you. I mean, it should be a one-sentence thing I can just jam to you and say, Hey, okay, a great inciting incident is perfect. Fish out of the water. Homo sapien girl goes with the Neanderthals. Learns their culture. And goes on a mammoth hunt. And she, she breaks the rules by, you know, women in this book are not allowed to hunt. She starts hunting behind their back and saves a day a few times. She's kind of at odds with the the future leader of the clan uh, tribe here, the Clay Cave Bears. And he takes advantage of her and takes advantage of her in ways she we cannot describe, except for the author here. I you know see what I mean? I'm having a hard time just nailing it in one sentence. I should have this in one sentence. What this is all about. I won't tell you the ending or anything, but I mean, what's important to me, here's what's important to me. I don't, I know the story's weak, but it's the research that went into this by Jean. Amazing. You know, this is before the internets, people. She went to the Multnomah Falls Library and read every book she could on Neanderthals and Stone Age. You know, this is set back in, you know, 30,000 years from today, 1922. And this is the Ice Age period. And she read every archaeology book, I'm sure, and anthropology book, and um, geometry book, and Sea Pug Run to do the research on this. Which was amazing. Which is factual research. I would call that factual research. To have... Because these people dug up Neanderthal bones, obviously, in caves. And, you know, they can't... Their shoulders are not designed to throw overhand. And Ayla, the lead girl in here, Daryl Hannah character, the Amazon, 
she can throw overhand and kill things. And woo, that was all different. So she has these capacities in her world that blow the minds of the Neanderthals, what minds they have, you know. But to do the research, and then not only the factual, but the imagination and the memory research. I would say memory for her, Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, I can't pronounce that last name. Is it Eul? Eul. Oh, I'm going Van Damme. She, the factual for her, I don't know what her credentials were, if she has any factual research from her life experience. That's what that means to me. Then the imagination, she had to sit down and go, what if? What if a girl, there's an earthquake back in the ice age, and this girl gets a great idea. It's a great fish out of the water. She gets separated, blah, blah, blah. And she kept asking, what if she learns to hunt? What if she uh, learns to fish and do all the, what if she learns to survive on her own and have a kid, you know, it, all these things. So there's a ton of imagination research that came. First, she did the factual research. I guarantee this. And then after that, what, and she started asking, what if all this outpouring of ideas came to her? I promise you that's what happened. It was just this existential deal where she just like got overwhelmed once once you put in the hard factual research that's what you need when you get writer's block it's just it's just from lack of research it's all that is it's all so once you get overwhelmed with the factual then it's outpouring she went and did like she stayed uh she hired a or not i don't know if she hired him but made friends with an Arctic survival guide, and he showed her how to make an ice cave, the author. So once that happened, it all came pouring out. So I was fascinated by, this is the greatest off-grid book of all time, by the way. Greatest off-grid book. Keep this around when you're off-grid, because you can learn a lot of stuff out here, how to hunt, how to fish, how to uh, make fire. You know, they just didn't have a big lighter like me here. Oh no, where's my, flick my Bic? Oh yeah, see, this is my fire, people. I'm using, I'm, I'm relying on modern technology as long as I can. And when that goes wrong, I'm going to keep this book around for my off-grid survivaling series here. Uh, it is amazing that way. I was fast, 200 pages, the first 200. I was into it, even though there wasn't much story. The inciting incident happened in the first 10 pages, and after that, you're waiting. There's no traditional Act 1 climax or Act 2 climax or um, object of desire. You really had no idea what she wanted and... Ayla, the lead girl. Um, you really, there was no, there's no shark to kill at the end of this. You can kind of see in the back of your mind, which, yeah, she probably should go leave the tri clan of the cave bears and do her own thing. But that wasn't up to her to decide that at the end. You've read this, right? That's what happens at the end. She gets banned from the tribe, the clay, the clay bears, clan of the clan. That'd be hard to say. Clan of the Clave Bears. Three times, please. So that's what uh, I'm just going to say. It's worth the read. That's just fascinating. I can see why it was a hit. Just no one's ever written something like this before. To do that kind of research and, and the imagination to come up. No, I mean, that was just she made up her own gene. Von, Von Dam, Claude Van Dam. She just made this world up based on facts and imagination and and um, maybe some memory of her own world, too, growing up. She may not know that, but she it probably came out, too. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Really fascinating. But it gets kind of... She repeats. There's a lot of repeating of story ideas, and I'm like... Or scene ideas, and I'm like, yeah, okay, we've heard this before. I said that to myself out loud a few times. Okay, we've already heard this before. That's what I'm saying. If it would have got edited down to 250 pages, ooh, you could have streamlined a pretty good story in there. But right now, it's kind of, there's so much world. She had to create such a world. And she put it out there. I admire her for that, the author, to create this gigantic world of these Neanderthals and this girl and Ayla that no one ever did before. Uh, that's fascinating stuff and, and she probably got caught up with so much doing that that you know but i guess you know at least it's not a cheesy hollywood like it's just a real 
factual of probably what happened, what would have happened with a girl lost and joining the Neanderthal cave bear people. You know, it's not some, like I said, it's not a, it's not die hard, die hard in a cave. You know, we're not doing that. <laughs> right? Come on. Check it out. Planet of the Cave Bears. It'll be on my shelf for survival needs. When I need to read something, I'll go, oh, yeah, that's how you build a fire. <laughs> Without a bick. Yes. This will be the Ice Age is cometh-ing, people. Get ready. We, you know, we go through. I like how she says this is 1980. You know, I love how she, there's interglacial periods. You know, there's cycles, Ice Age cycles, and then we get 12,500 years of warming period, which we're at the end of right now. So get ready to flick your bick and then chip off some, you know, get a stick and roll, make a fire, get a, get a hot coal going, yeah, hot coal. Clan of the Cave Bears, the Clan of the Cave Bears, I keep forgetting the the, the the, people, you gotta have the the, the Clan of the Cave Bears, you don't want to shortchange the author, she did a lot of work on this to make it happen, and I respect the research that went into this that's my point r-e-s-p-c-t on the research thank you gene van dam claude i will i will buell buell ah that's got to be japanese 